Good morning, guys. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. I'm in such a good mood, uh, specifically because I stepped on the scale and I finally saw something good. So I lost 1.8 pounds and that's due to tracking my food on my fitness pal again. Uh, I did it all week and I can't, I don't know why I resisted it for so long. I like avoided it like the black plague, but tracking your food is your friend, not your enemy. But yeah, it's like, it's like anything. It's, it's like working out. You don't want to do it. It seems like such a big task, seems impossible until it's done. And then you're like, oh, that was easy. That was great. I feel wonderful. So why do I avoid that? And then again, your next workout, you still think you still dread it. So I've been dreading to track. I said it weeks ago, maybe a month ago that, oh, I got to go back to basics. And um, tracking my food on my fitness pal is as basic as it gets, it's the very first thing I did when I started my journey, May 2014. And I knew that that's what I needed to do. Um, after two years, or after like a year and a half, I stopped tracking because I got familiar with healthy food and portions and everything, and all of 2016, I did not track. Um, so I wasn't losing chunks of weight, but I was eating really healthy food, so I didn't gain weight, and I was making slow, slow progress, but I liked it. I liked how I felt. Um, it was like a nice balance of not feeling so restricted and feeling more like a healthy lifestyle. Um, but when I get so far off track like this, so far off the journey, I have to go back to tracking to get a basis because I know for me, I don't get motivated to keep going until I see results. It's the results that motivate me to keep going. And because I wasn't tracking my food and not getting that initial like few poundage loss um, or any kind of physical feeling better, I was not motivated to continue anything. So I was chatting with my mom the other day and she's like, girl, if you're anything like me, you know, to get back on track, you need to track. And just do it Jen and I'm like yeah you're right uh, so I've tracked all week it worked I lost 1.8 pounds um, the other thing is my bloating like in my stomach feels better like it's still I'm still way heavier than I was at my wedding but um, my stomach isn't as uncomfortable like it's not as bloated so I feel good I feel very positive and yeah definitely seen a loss and feeling a bit better that's all I needed I needed a good solid week I've told you guys this I've said it a thousand times a thousand times a thousand times I knew exactly what I needed to do but I avoided it but anyways once you finally get your little click moment it's like you just do it everybody has their own time you know people ask me how do I get motivated what do you do uh, you know how like what, 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 what? it's it's hard to tell you because it has to be yours only yours only something in your life is going to trigger you to wanna be healthy and yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know what it is I'm just so uh, positive and this was my time I guess I just needed a break I don't know what I needed I don't know it's all part of the journey it's all part of the lifestyle I'm not I got upset for a while because I'm like, no, but I knew um, deep down in my heart that this would, like, I would not just give up and go back completely. I knew that it was just my little stumble, so I feel pretty confident that I'm moving in the right direction. So I had my breakfast with Jim, and I had that um, blueberry cinnamon flax, that crunchy, healthy cereal that I love so much. And I also had some prunes. So with the almond milk and all that, it came to about 280 calories. And um, then he left for work. And now I'm going to have like a little snack. I bought one of those little mini watermelons and I'm going to cut it in half and have that half as a snack while I work on diet bed stuff. So in my diet beds, I find prizes from like different companies and I, do little like challenges 
throw like, recipe challenge, workout challenge. I just host different challenges and the people who enter get a chance to win these prizes. But like for the recipe challenge where everybody shares their favorite recipe, um, the benefit of that is that all the other players now have a, a long list of recipes that they could try throughout the diet bet and throughout their life. You just have to screenshot it, whatever. So yeah, that's really exciting. So I did the recipe challenge. I gave away a box of quest bars for that. And now I'm going to work on the workout challenge. And I believe I'm going to give away a um, $25 gift certificate to Love Fit Jewelry. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on that while I eat some watermelon. So watermelons are always a hit or miss in the winter. So who knows if it's going to be good. But I always look for a watermelon that has a really yellow spot like that because that means it sat long enough on this in this position to get ripe so hopefully it is good oh when it pops open like that i find like it tastes good yes yes it's a nice color let's see if it's true I just sit like on uh, like on the couch with this bowl in my hand because it's probably about um because it's there's a thick rind probably like a cup and a half two cups of watermelon so i just eat it like um ice cream oh we have a winner of course oliver wants some of course he does what's new you want a piece of watermelon would you like a little piece of watermelon? I can, I can spare a tiny piece. But the rest is mine. Oh, that was so cute and gentle. You look so shaggy. Your hair's getting long. I keep his hair long for the winter, so he has a little bit of coating for little walks in this cold weather. And then I like to shave him like a rat during the summer. I can give you another piece. Give me your paw. Good boy. That was no. That was not good. Sit. Hey, give me your paw. Good boy. Okay, maybe maybe one more little piece. One more little piece. Okay, lie down. Stay. 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 Okay. Good boy, Ollie. Good boy, Oliver. That's a good boy. Now, do you want this little toy? Can I distract you from my watermelon that you're staring at intently? Do you want your toy? No? Food's more important? You're just like mommy. Food is the number one thing. So for lunch, I just threw something together really simple. Um, I toasted a couple slices of whole wheat bread and then I put a tablespoon of hummus on each toast. And then I put slices of tomato and cucumber. It's really, really simple, quick. Um, I've actually this week been enjoying eating a lot more sm like smaller meals, but more of them. Um, yeah. I, like usually I, I eat a big breakfast lunch and dinner and that's just it but I've been enjoying having like a bowl of cereal then a snack then a light lunch then a snack then a lighter dinner and then a snack you know what I mean um, I think it's gonna help with metabolism but that's just what I'm feeling this week I change constantly just how I feel um, let me take a bite of this beauty oh yeah Mm-hmm. Yep. Oliver hears me chewing, and of course he's gonna come running. Hey guys, uh, it's just after 5 p.m. and um, Jim doesn't get off work until 7.30, and I would like to wait for him for dinner. Um, sometimes I'll eat earlier, but it's Friday, so I'd rather just eat with him. So since I'm hungry, uh, I got like a bundle of green grapes, just washed them, and I'm going to snack on them 
and then get dinner started a little bit later. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make some chicken and green beans and just keep it simple tonight in case we have some sort of cheat meal tomorrow on Saturday. So I want to make sure that today's a f like real good healthy day. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, not much going on. Finished all my work. So I think for like the next hour or so, I'm going to just relax, watch TV, and then start making dinner. And hopefully Jim's not too late because he's been like working long hours, like longer hours this week. So I'm really hoping he gets out on time. But like grapes are so awesome. So sweet. Okay, there's really not much to update you on. Look at my shirt. Do we have any Game of Thrones fans in the house? House Stark. And then it says, what does it say down here? Winterfell, Wardens of the North. Yeah. Jim and I love Game of Thrones. Probably after... I complete my whole day. I'm going to um, show you on my fitness pal like everything that I've eaten and stuff like that. See you later. Green beans takes forever. I feel like I feel like this is going in slow motion. When will this be over? Oops. Oh my god, don't you hate that when you put the stems in the wrong spot and then the clean bean in the garbage bag? It's kind of screwing with my mind here. It's like I have to concentrate so much. So I've got my green beans here in the pan boiling in some water and then I'll probably just season it with some olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, salt, pepper, that kind of stuff. And um, I have my chicken seasoned here. I seasoned it with sea salt, pepper, garlic powder and oregano and my uh, grill is almost ready. Uh, usually I make a side, like a starchy side, to my meals, whether it be potatoes, rice, quinoa, something like that. But today I'm not. Today I'm keeping it simple because it's Friday night and we may go to Jim's uh, brother and sister-in-law's house to chill. And in case they have a few snacks, I want to save some calories. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I ate today. I set my fitness pal to 1500 calories. Um, I chose this. If you want my fitness pal to choose for you uh, based on your information, like height, weight, and how much you wanna lose per week, they'll calculate one for you. But 1500 calories I find is the perfect amount for me. 1200 calories would make me lose faster, but I'm also way more cranky and feel like it's more of a diet rather than a lifestyle. And I find like I can, I can only eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner with those calories. Whereas 1500 calories allows me to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a couple of snacks, healthy snacks in between. So yeah, that's why I put that. Um, okay. So I've used 1,238 calories so far, and I saved some calories in case we go uh, out with uh, my brother and sister-in-law. Okay, so for breakfast I had the blueberry cinnamon flax cereal and a cup of unsweetened almond milk and um, a few prunes. Really, I only had two, but you, for some reason, because it's calculated by five, I just put half. Long story. So breakfast was 280 calories. For lunch, I had the toast with some hummus, tomato, and cucumber, 
and that was 326 calories. For dinner, I'm having the chicken, out. Oh, oops. For dinner, I'm having the chicken breast, uh, two cups of green beans, um, and then this Kalamata fig glaze dressing on the chicken that I um, absolutely love. I've, I've showed you it a lot before, but we just got a new one, so I'm gonna use it more. It's only 20 calories per tablespoon, so I figure maybe three tablespoons, I don't know. And then I've calculated a tablespoon of oil in case um, that's what I use to dress the green beans because I often like putting uh, olive oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, that kind of thing on green beans. And then the snacks that I had in between my meals so far have been watermelon, two cups of watermelon, and a cup of grapes. So that's gotten me to uh, 1,238 and then I've saved myself 262 calories for any kind of snacks but I'm really so motivated that if they have anything junky there I'm not going to have it like even if I have the calories for it I'm only gonna eat if they put out you know fruit or veggies or crackers or something like not gross because I like how I've been feeling lately okay so yeah that's a successful day of tracking okay, so I have oh my chickens ready so I have my green beans and I put some cold water on them. Stop the cooking so I can shut this off. Let's see what they look like. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I love the grill marks this gets all the time. You're coming in whistling? That's such a nice sound to hear. Holly, he always gets, he always gets that way when he's excited. Hello. Hello. How was your day? Uh, had a day in paradise. Successfully completed. Okay, Oliver. I'm just happy to be okay? over. I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. I'm gonna wash up. Okay. And then I'm gonna eat. Yeah, dinner's ready. Yeah, Okay, so I decided to save myself 100 calories of olive oil and just put this balsamic fig glaze on here because it's so good um go ahead jim you can eat and it's it's got a nice sweetness and a nice tanginess but it doesn't um have that much salt in it so i'm just it gonna breast, sprinkle some salt in that sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you though but no, seriously okay. this chicken breast is juicy yeah because it just came off the grill oh. right now where's the knife oh you only brought one well i was gonna give you mine sorry I just want to taste test because it's looking so good like. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Mm. Money? So juicy. I'm so glad you came home right on time. Yeah, that almost never half happens these days. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You pre-cut? I pre-cut because I'm lazy. <laughs> like I'm five years old. Is it juicy? I'll give you a minute. Juicy. This is why I come home every day. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just for that? Just for that. Rude. I love you. Love you. Who's that? I, I sang that song when I was in the third grade. It was my third grade talent show. It was the three bears in, uh, I don't know, in like a jazz Goldilocks? form. Yeah, yeah, yeah gold blocks um, and, and the three bears. I don't know why I just remember it. Anyway, so we just came back mm. from our bro my, my brother and sister-in-law's house. And we had a nice time. And I had this little muffin, but it was so tiny, so I don't think I exceeded... I think I stayed within my calories because I had almost 300 calories left. Huh? Muffin man. What the heck? <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. It's midnight and we are going to go upstairs and get ready for bed and stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. If you did, please give it the... B hit the like button. Subscribe. I love you. Good night.